So in our last video, we focused on getting a crafting system in the game. And in this one, I want to work on getting some equipment slots so that there's head armor, body armor, and different armor types. So what we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna go and create a little canvas for our inventory slots. So I'm just gonna create another image. I'm gonna put it inside of the background image and I'm gonna call it background for equip slots. Okay, so now that I have the background, I'm gonna create some slots. And for me, I'm gonna do head, body, legs, and feet. And these are gonna be four different equips. Okay, and on each slot, we're gonna add a component and we're gonna call it equipment slot. And then you could go ahead and open that in Visual Studio. Okay, so now that we're in Visual Studio, you can go ahead and get rid of void update and void start. The first thing we're gonna add is a public string. And we'll call it equipment type. And then we're also gonna be creating a public game object. We're gonna make it an array. And then it'll be of items. So now we wanna create a function to allow us to equip an item. And when we equip an item, then it enables or disables. So we're gonna go public void equip. And then we're gonna take an integer and it'll be the index. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each item inside of here and disable it. But if it's equal to the index, then we'll not disable. So we're just gonna make a for loop for that. And for int i is equal to zero. i is less than items.length. And then i plus plus. And basically we'll just check if i is equal to index. So if it's equal to the index of the item we're trying to find, then we'll do items i dot set active true and then else we'll do items i dot set active false and then for now that's actually all we have to do uh, where we're going to go to now is go to the item script that we created previously and we're going to add two new variables one's going to be public string and then we'll call it equipment type as well and then a public integer and we'll call it equipment index okay and now that we have that we're actually gonna go to the drag and drop script and we're just gonna make a little bit of changes here and there in this script so whenever we let go of the left mouse button it runs through and tries to find another slot and after this condition right here if new object and new object is not equal to current slot, we're just gonna make one more if statement and we're gonna go if new object component equip slot and new object component equip slot dot equipment type is not equal to curse slots item dot equipment type, then we'll return. And then we wanna check one more thing right here on line 53, we're gonna go and not new object dot get component equipment slot. And that should be good there. So after curse slot and curse slot get, dot get component, we're gonna add one line on line 69 and we'll just do a for loop for each slot i in inf dot equip slots and don't worry about the squiggly lines we're going to add this variable later to the inventory we'll just go i dot get component equipment slot dot equip okay so inside of the equipment slot script rather than taking an int i want to do something else just go if 
transform dot child count is less than or equal to one then we'll run a for loop and we'll go for each game object i in items i dot set active false and then we'll go return and then down here we'll go int num and set it equal to the transform dot get child and we'll go one dot get component item dot equipment index and then over here where we use the previous index we're going to change that to num okay and there's just a few more things we need to do so go inside of the inventory script that we created in a previous episode and scroll all the way to the top so we're going to make another public slot array and we'll call it equip slots And then down beneath the other for each, we'll go for each slot i in equip slots i dot custom start. And then we'll also go for each slot i in equip slots i dot check for item. Okay, so now in Unity, we're going to go to the slots that we just created. And if you go to the script, equip slot, then you'll see that there's a parameter here called equipment type. And since this is going to be the head slot, we're going to call it head. And since this one's the body slot, we'll call it body. This one's going to be called legs. And this one, feet. Okay. And then on our player, we're going to add some stuff. So chances are, if you're going to be using this inventory, it's going to be for some kind of survival game. So chances are that you're going to put your items directly onto the player. So for an example, I'll just make a cube and I'll call it the helmet. And I'll make it look like the player's helmet. Okay, he'll just have a big ice cube on his head for the helmet. All right, and then I'll create another and I'll call it the body. Or just something absurd like that but I'll set both of these inactive and then I want to create another helmet that's gonna be slightly different in its variant it's just gonna have a bigger look okay so now these are the items that are gonna be visible on the player when you equip in a helmet or an armor and the way that we're gonna make it set that actually enables is by going over to the slots that we created. And before we do that, go to the player and go to the inventory script. We're gonna add the equip slots to this. So lock it up here so that we can select these without this going away. So select all of the background slots for the equipment and drag it down into the equip slots. And since we have two head armor types i'm going to go to the head slot and i'm going to create two in this items array this is going to hold both the helmets and then for the body i'm going to add one and it's going to have the body armor Now I'm going to go over to our item prefabs and I'm going to create a new variant. So I'm going to create an item three. Okay. And then this is going to be a helmet. So what we're going to do is since armor isn't going to be stackable, set that to ones and give it the equipment type that's equal to the equipment type of the slot. So if you want item two to go into a head slot, you're going to type head. And then you want to give it an index. So if this represents helmet one on the player, then this is gonna be on index one of the equipment slot. So we're gonna give this an index of one. And then we'll feed it an item ID that doesn't already exist. We have ID zero and one. So I'm gonna give this ID two and I'm gonna create a prefab of it. 
And then I'm going to create an item 3. And this one's just going to represent the body slot. I'm going to give it an ID of 3. And it's going to go on the body slot. And since the body slot only has one item and it's of index 0, I'm going to plug in item index 0. And then I'm going to create an item for that. I'm also going to change the icons for both of these items so we can differentiate. And now we can put the inventory to test. Okay, so we have just our basic items. These are not going to be equipable because we didn't give it the tag. But we have these two equipable items up here. So I'm just going to go pick them up. And you can see they both come here. And since it's a stack of one, then nothing shows up text-wise. I believe this is a helmet. So no, this is a body armor. So we can't drag it into any of the other equip slots except for the body armor. And when we equip it, you can see it enables on the player, and when we drag it off, it dequips. Now, same story goes for the helmet, and so forth. You can see that the armor does work. 